Greetings, everyone. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Porch Talk. We have a few, quite a few <laughs> topics to go over today with you guys. There's always a lot of foolishness, isn't it? So, who better to bring it but us? Why not? So, Marquise Jackson, 50 Cent Son, is out here with an imitation Takashi 6 9 at the club. I saw that. <laughs> and it's like, okay. I guess he gets his pettiness from his dad. From his pappy. Okay? Yeah, that one ain't too far from the tree. You know, Curtis, I don't know what's going on with him and his son of his. We like to jump to conclusions as the public because we don't know what's up. But I think he needs to repair that relationship because people going to be looking at, even though it's a win for 6 9 like you out here repping this whole boy you know ain't yours. Yeah. Your son, and you got your other son out in the wind. And, you yeah. Know. It's, I mean, you know, 50, that's my man. I love him to death. Mm. Anyway, uh... <laughs> But no, real shit though, like he, he does at least make it to where you don't look crazy in the public eye or whatever. Because obviously his son is crying out. Why why would you go and imitate your father, even if it is in a negative way or trying to make fun of what he is doing? Like he he gotta be on his mind heavy enough for him to wanna to you know yeah, yeah, like make you know what I'm saying? It. Yeah. So I think that as petty as fifty cent is or portrays to be or whatever, I really think that he has a big heart and I think that he probably is just as affected because he does things too to to do jabs also. And only only hurt people hurt people is right. what you know what people have said for so long so mm -hmm. i just feel like yeah fix that shit dog because you yeah, know that's just it. not a good look overall right. but that takashi 69 halloween boy was funny as hell that shit did look that crazy oh boy he was like a little bass head i'm just saying and then he like if you notice like 50 b with that little boy uh, yeah and then i think it was floyd mayweather said he don't even really know if that's his kid for real that's his kid don't say that Yes, yes, it is. But you never know between them two Negroes. I so know. Probably next... go for that kid. <laughs> <laughs> so Zoe Kravitz is out here gracing the cover Rolling Stone like her mama did. Y'all remember her from The Cosby. The Cosby Show, yeah, yeah. and A Different World. Yeah, Jaleesa. Yeah, different... Wasn't her name Jaleesa? Was that Jaleesa? No, I forgot what her name was. Denise? Denise. It was Denise. Was Denise? Yeah. Okay. Was it Denise? Yeah. I think so. I don't think because it was yet. two light-skinned ones. And the other, the other one, her name... Sandra. Yeah, so it was Denise. Okay. Denise, yeah. Well, who the hell is Jaleesa? Oh, Jaleesa was off a different world. Yeah, honey. Okay, okay, that was... But uh, you know, that was a spinoff, so yeah. it's easy to get the stuff... A confused. Get a little confused, yeah. That was a while ago. But yeah, more power to her. She's on the cover with the uh, birthday suit. You know, I don't know what that's about. Would you do that? No. I would. I just want to just be butt naked somewhere. Just, you know, go ahead. Ignorant. I'm just saying. It could be fun. So, uh... Looking just born. Riley and Cardi B's sister, Hennessy, is going Hendo. back and forth on uh, social media, which is very ridiculous. So Hennessy says, don't be coming to my page saying fuck shit if you're not going to like my response. You got my post on your notification. This just goes to prove my sister's point even more. You're really obsessed and upset. It's sickening and ridiculous. And I guess this baddie son here says, but you're always the one bringing Nikki up where she wasn't even mentioned. You seem like the fan here. Who is baddie son? I don't know. She says she mentions my sister all the time when she gets on radio. She's like she likes shady comments about my sister constantly. Her two bimbo friends go live and talk about my sister all the time on their mm -hmm. fake ass podcast. That would be Raw Lee and Brooke Bailey. Oh, okay. With five hundred viewers, but I can't say five hundred. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's my family. You can suck my dick. Mm -mm. They get so, real, ain't they? Yeah. So this is where Riley come in. So you see, she mentions her. She better at least get stay out of shit. She says, I'm not scared of none of you water buffalo built ass bitches. Oh. Bitch, you knew better than to write that shit. That's why you deleted it. Save that bully shit for Instagram and pop the fuck off in real life. So who called who water bu buffalo built? Uh, <laughs> Hennessy was calling oh, them too. Okay, okay. So Ross said, I didn't delete anything. Water buffalo built. And you built. know that. It's very much still there unless you deleted it. I don't have to play on this internet with you. You seen your big sis when she got home. You know what's up. You next. She said, you did delete your comment. You thought twice. Security did that goofy ass shit because your friend wouldn't do shit. You tried to swing on my sister and Patience ran down <coughs> on your ass. Who was Patience? You ain't rag know. shit. You rag me in person, bitch. You bitches ain't tough. You bitches do this shit for entertainment. I'm with all the shits right now. 
mess. That just sound like a bunch of mess. A whole bunch of mess. Like, what? First of all, what I need to know is why is Ra Ali still in stuff? I mean, I thought that she learned her lesson about on site when um, Sky tore that ass up like she had fucked up in school and she had to come home, from come to the principal's office and whoop her ass like she was fucking her up with something in school or something. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I... She she told that ass up, baby. Y'all need to watch that episode of Black Ink. I'm sorry, go ahead. Hey, see, just go ahead and tag the sky in there. I'm sure she was I give bet her another, you she is shut up. Yes. So here we go right again. Hennessy Carolina, listen, dumb bow. Dumb Oh Lord. I know you aren't the sharpest knife in the drawer, but the comment is still there. The security scenario was cute and we even let y'all rock with it. But what you not gonna do is be a bully. Anyway, Shorty, hmm. say less. We'll cross paths soon enough. She said, you did delete your comment. You thought twice. Security did that goofy ass shit because your friend wouldn't do shit. And that was how well, we went over that They shit. just keep going back and forth. This yeah. is, you know, first of all, why why is why is Cardi B and her sister, or her sister, I should say, giving them even life like that? Don't like, give them fuck them. They're they not even relevant enough to be arguing with. Not at all. You know, all. Um, you kind of making them big. You blowing them up. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, they should just send you some um, edible arrangements or something or and some flowers and say thank you because, I mean, you giving them a name. You see me saying, who the hell? What the hell? Because I don't know them. Exactly. So, you know, Hennessy goes on. Uh, you heard it was kind of a repeat of the last tweet, but she did say some new stuff with that same one basically saying, like, y'all do this shit for social media. Mm. You know, run up in so many words to make it short and cute. Yeah, I agree with you. I wouldn't get these hoes two seconds of air. Yeah. I mean, a day lifeline has ran off. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have nothing too bad and negative to say about Brooke Bailey. I seen her on Basketball Wives for a brief minute on the um, season. Did she I, fight somebody or something? Who she is she? She was fighting uh, Jackie Christie. Everybody fought Jackie. That don't tell me shit. Yeah, so I don't shit. know. I mean, I don't, I don't have nothing bad to say, but I think Rod needs to stay out of the shits. I mean, uh, is she trying to get back on Love and Hip Hop? What is I she thought doing? she was, like, I thought she had a shoe line or something. I thought she was... Slinging shoes. I just remember all them different crazy, ugly ass wigs she used to throw on her head. She used to have cute shoes though. I mean, that's all I knew her for. And then when Scott towed that ass up, and that was, you know, and I'm like, oh, ain't that the shoe girl? But yeah, okay, whatever. Well, that's enough fuckery for the day. Thanks again, <laughs> once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. Check you next time. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.